This is a tricky dress. Why is it? Oh, It's right. a tricky dress. Okay, all right. Yeah. That's good for the viewers at home. I gotta do some adjustments. <laughs> uh, you want me to shield you with the Van Yeah, I need, I need something <laughs> down here. This is better. Than yeah, that's going. nice. No, no, let's come on. Let's give the people at home what they came to see your lace. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was very know. rude. That I don't was... want to give them a, a gynecological exam. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. what they asked for. You, um, this book is called I'm Fine and Other Lies. Does this mean you are not fine? I'm, yeah, I know this might come to, uh, as a shock to some people, but I, I, I don't have it together, folks. You don't? Because mm -mm. you seem to me like you do have it together. Really? Yeah. I'm hanging by a thread, Jimmy. Well, I, I didn't gather that because you seem to be, uh, you, you, well, you're very successful, obviously. Oh. You've got a, a lot of jobs, as far as I can tell. You're working on things. You're producing other people. You're writing for other people and yourself. You wrote a book. You're touring. You're, you, you do have it I'm together. hilarious. I'm... You're hilarious. More. Are yeah, you done? Is well, that Well, that's it? the reason that, that all of these things come together is because you are very funny. That but is, you don't feel like it, huh? That is so nice. I think I wanted to write a book that sort of revealed all of the sort of flaws and insecurities and the mistakes that we make. I think so much of us pretend to have it together. You scroll down Instagram, you see everybody's greatest hits. No one's really showing, right. you know, what happens behind the scenes. And I kind of wanted to make it socially acceptable to talk about our not-so-great moments, our shameful moments, our embarrassing moments. And uh, I did that with this book, which means I'll be single forever. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that genuinely a concern? Because it sounds like, it, I mean, yeah, are you worried about yeah. revealing so much? Yes, I revealed so much in this book about eating disorders, body dysmorphia, addiction. I don't know why you guys aren't laughing. These are hilarious <laughs> topics. Um, it's made a lot of things very weird for me. Like, uh, people just in general, I feel like they now think that I'm like a safe place to admit all their weird secrets. Oh, no. And shameful behavior. Uh, people now just come up to me in airports and blurt out uh, weird things they do. I, like what? I had, I had a woman run up to me in an airport and she goes, hey, I go to stores and I buy clothes I don't even want just so other people can't have them. <laughs> I was like, wow. I was like, yo, I'm gonna go get a Cinnabon. Uh, <laughs> I need to get out of here. That is one of the craziest <laughs> things I've ever I've heard. I've ever heard. I had a woman um, uh, yell at me across a, like, a, like a driveway. She just goes, hey, Whitney, I can't stop stealing. <laughs> I was like, cool. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Do you advise them at all? I, I mean, look, I'm not a psychiatrist. I right. think that's pretty obvious. I am a clown. <laughs> I'm a comedian, you know, so read the book. There is a lot of helpful information there. I tried to make a funny self-help book. I realized when people are depressed or they're struggling with something, a lot of self-help books are bleak and boring, and they just kind of make it worse. So I wanted to write a funny self-help book for people so you could laugh and cry and Do you process. get into medical type um, things? Things as Thank well. you. Are you um, a little. I did this one thing that I, I added some things in there. My therapist very quickly realized that I have a uh, issue with something called codependence. Uh, it manifests in uh, I have an ability, uh, an inability to speak, first of all, but also to see red flags in oh, men. Really? You've met some guys I've dated. You know. I, I'm, okay. My pickers. Off. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, now I know. I know. You yeah. know. Right. Molly knows. Maybe. <laughs> my wife knows. Your wife yeah. knows. Uh, yeah. But I like my brain will automatically turn a negative into a positive just to like justify being in a terrible relationship. And that's not a good thing. That's Ooh, not. This a... is bad, okay. Jimmy. It's right. aging me. I see. Uh, like I'll meet a guy and I'll be like, Oh, he's married. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> not afraid of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's how my brain works. So my therapist was like, you can't be trusted out there in the streets. So she made me start t uh, giving a quiz to the guy that I date to find out their subconscious, to find out who they are. And my producer said I could do it with you. Oh, yeah. In the back. So I'm going to do it with you. Yes, you can. But may I ask you some yes, quick questions? Ask me anything. Do you do this, when, like, at what point? Do you do this on the first date? I try to do it in the first date. Well, that's, that's not going to help anything. <laughs> if you, like, if I got quizzed on the first date, I would be like, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'd never come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I've learned everything I need to know about you. You jump ship when things get hard. Give me the quiz. Do you know what? Well, yes, but uh, do you have a pen? I need to borrow some paper I and do, a pen. yes. Oh, I'll just write There's it There's a pen. This. I have paper. Um, fine, I'll sign the book for We've you, We've got Jimmy. everything Gosh. here. Yes, thank fine. you. Fine, all right. Jimmy, you failed. Uh,
Okay. okay. So this is the idea is the I idea would... is it's it's um, uh, Freud uh, came up with this test and essentially what it does is it finds out things about someone's subconscious because we all pretend to be people we're not right I pretend I'm 30 uh, people pretend <laughs> a lot of things but this is the way to get the truth out of someone in like a sneaky way so that you don't find out like two years into a relationship that they have a secret family you know this is a good way okay all right, all right. now I feel like there's a lot of pressure okay there's a lot of pressure okay, but Molly gonna... I hope you're watching I'm gonna try to answer on Honestly. Okay, the first thing I need to know is what is your favorite animal? Oh, monkey, definitely. Monkey. Okay, I need three reasons why it's your favorite animal. Well, they fling poop. Is that three? <laughs> or fling poop? poop. Flinging. So, um... And try to do adjectives. Okay. Uh, smoking. I like when they smoke. <laughs> They're the only animal that smokes that <laughs> I know. That's, um, well, like, what about the monkey? Oh, I like they're funny, I think. Funny? They seem intelligent. Yeah. And um, they're a little bit crazy. Funny, intelligent, crazy. Crazy, fling yeah. poop. Okay. Yeah. What is your favorite article of clothing? It doesn't have, it could be a suit, it can be a pair of socks. Of my own. It can, anything. It can be a wedding dress. Yeah, my uh, wedding dress. That's what it is. <laughs> it can be. I know um, what it is. Underwear. I have a tank top. <laughs> That you do. Is, has the colors of the Jamaican flag, <laughs> and I wear it only because my wife hates it so much. <laughs> and I don't know what this says about me, but I bought like 12 of them, and because she throws them out immediately, and then I just produce another one, and she doesn't know where they keep coming from. Okay, so what are some three adjectives to describe that tank top? Uh, hideous. Hideous is, would definitely be one of them. Ridiculous. <laughs> um, uh, annoying, I Annoying? Guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I failed the test already. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll okay. tell you what they all mean in okay. a second. Oh, all right. The final one is, what is your favorite body of water? It can be an ocean, a swimming pool, a glass of water, a stream. Mine was the New River in Virginia, because okay. I went whitewater rafting on it. I know it. what mine is. Okay. Mine is Silver Creek in Idaho. Okay. Yes. Tell me three things uh, that describe that creek. It is placid, clear, and troutful. <laughs> is that a word, troutful? Bountiful with Bountiful with, with trout. trout. Yes, yes, yes. How, so it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, is it moving now? It kind a little bit, but not much. It's very still. Moves a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what basically this does, it also helps you understand the difference between the way you perceive yourself and the way other people perceive you. So the first one tells you how you perceive yourself. As a monkey. Monkey. Yeah, that's right. Funny, intelligent, crazy, and flings poop. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. And that, would you say that's kind of how you perceive uh, yourself? If you throw Harry in there, you got, I mean, <laughs> practically my Twitter bio. <laughs> or your Tinder bio. After yeah, this. A, yeah, right. <laughs> um, okay, and then your article of clothing is the way other people perceive you. Okay. Oh, boy. Pisses off your wife. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yes. Annoying. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I guess. I don't no, I don't know. That one's, I would have pushed you to go for something besides the tank top, but uh -huh. I just wanted to hear so much about it and envision you in that okay, tank top right. that I went for it. The third one is the way you view sex. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, Placid. I do fall, I do. <laughs> Troutful. <laughs> Wow. And uh, moves a little, but not much. <laughs> Man, it's miraculous. You've been spying on me. <laughs> Let me have that book signed. Wow, it's all in here. All the secrets to life are right in this book. It's called I'm Fine and Otherwise. Whitney Cummings, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.